In this video, we're going to look at how to correct bad geometry or how to find a problem in a 2D shape uh, where a part will not pocket. Now, bad geometry can cause uh, surfacing failure, po pockets to fail, profile cuts to fail, but there's some real easy things to do to check and see what's wrong with the geometry. Here I have a very simple part created, just a uh, square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a pocket to this part. So we're going to right click milling stock, go to mill 2 axis, then pocketing. We're going to select the geometry, and then right click and OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and edit my toolpath. And all of these settings, the default should be just fine. We'll just choose OK. And then we'll compute our toolpath. Wait for the screen to refresh. Okay. Now we can see here that the pocket did not calculate. It didn't show. It doesn't show a pocket. This square is approximately two inches wide. And if we look at our tool, we can see that I'm using a half-inch rush tool. It should fit just fine. Now it's not pocketing, uh, even though it should. There's geometry selected. The geometry shows good, but the toolpath will not calculate. Now if I take, I'll just uh, go ahead and remove my selection. Now if we come over here and if we look at the part, it looks good. If we go to select the part by holding down the shift key and clicking on one area, we'll see it doesn't select the entire part. So that's usually a telltale sign of where a problem may exist. Now sometimes you have to zoom in really close to see these issues. Uh, sometimes they're so small they're almost impossible to see. We could see that this arc is not tangent to this line. So, in other words, it's not a closed shape, so a pocket will not generate. A surface will also fail. If we come in here, surfaces, planar, and select the shape, we'll see it doesn't really grab the whole part and it fails. Now, these things are pretty easy to find. When something does not work, a, a good check is actually just to come to your selection mode, hold shift and click somewhere on the part, and we can see it stops selecting at that point. Sometimes you might need to click around on the part in a couple different places to figure out exactly where the stops are. In this case, I could see that it's this corner. Now in this corner, there's a couple quick ways of fixing it. I could just redraw that area, or I'll just come in here, utility, since I can see the issue, and I'm going to drag corner. Now since the, if the issue is smaller than your tolerance needs to be, you could just simply grab the corner and attach it to kind of come in and fix the issues where the parts are not tangent or don't fit. So you just kind of attach the two of these together again. Now when we come in and we're going to select that geometry for pocketing again. We'll select, right click, OK. And we'll compute the pocket. Now you can see that there's no longer a problem. Any little gaps or overlaps in your geometry could potentially cause this problem. If there is a gap or an overlap, that means that it's not a closed shape. Again, the easiest way is just use your selection mode, hold down shift, and kind of click around the part and see if it selects the entire shape. Now one thing to keep in mind, you are working with a tolerance. There's a chain gap. If we come here to our settings part, or default settings, there's a system tolerance and a chain selection tolerance. So the chain selection is the amount of deviation between gaps and overlaps where the part will stop chain selecting. And there's also a system tolerance. So it might be a good idea to set the two of these the same so that it will only select parts that you can work with as a chain by holding down the shift key. Now we could also see here this part as well now if we come here to surfaces planar we should be able to create a planar surface. Let's go ahead and grab that again. I'm going to hold shift and click on it. And I could see since I drew this out of tolerance now I'm going to have some trouble selecting it. So I'll come to Preferences, Settings Part, come to our system, we'll go ahead and put our chain selection back so it will select the chain. Now it chain selects the entire part. So those are the things to check for for the accuracy for closed shapes. And that concludes this video.